Telki was choking on the air around her. Anticipation left little room for breathable substances, even in such a large spaceport, as the boarding door in front of her and the body of onlookers she found herself in stared. It had been 567 cycles since the last new species was introduced into the galaxy. Even her great-great-great-great-great-great-grandparents didn't remember the Onobians' entrance. This new species, humans as they were, were circled relentlessly by rumour and speculation. The snaking hall rattled the door into a hiss as the aliens approached. Talki would suffocate if she were any more excited. Painfully, slowly, the door took its time making its way into the open position. A few dozen pairs of long, thick legs were sluggishly revealed. It was finally happening. Within a few moments, all of the strange-looking apes were bombarded with the full might of galactic curiosity. Questions about culture, reproduction, social dynamics, and of course the endless onslaught of rumours from humans having telepathy to them having destroyed three other planets before landing on Earth filled the stale air. Hopefully, the answers were more breathable than the excitement. Finally, Talki had managed to find a single lone human, one who had gotten away from the packs of ferocious interrogators. She stared at the strange creature, waiting for it to do or say anything. It had a small white and orange paper object in its mouth. The end of it had a small ember burning. It looked at her and exhaled loudly. You know, I came over here to not be asked a billion questions, the translator reported. The human looked at her again. His eyes were strikingly white. A large blue ring with a black circle in the middle made up the rest of the sentry organ. What? Telki didn't know what to ask first. Flocks of questions flew around in her mind, an intense fight over which one would escape her brain first. Before she could speak, another human came from nearby and snuck its way next to the other one. This one was larger, with a wider frame. As soon as it was out of sight of the rest of the crowd, it began to speak to the smaller human. I don't think we're supposed to be smoking in here. Close space and all that, it started. Are you going to stop me, officer? Telki figured that officer must be the name of the second human though she still couldn't figure out the name of the first one. And who might you be? Officer looked dead at Telki. This one's eyes had a brown ring rather than blue. I'm Telki. I have so many questions. Ask away, I guess. Uh... Suddenly the fierce dogfight of unanswered questions ceased entirely. The skies of her mind were clear and empty. She couldn't think of a single question to ask until... So your name is Officer, right? What does that mean? What? They said your name was Officer. Oh, no, no. She was just being a snarky asshole. My name is Tom. Jane, the smaller human chimed in. Tom suddenly raised his hand and stuck a finger out. Well, Miss Jane, I think your boyfriend over there wants you to come back. Kid looks like he needs some backup. Oh, shit, you're right. Jane threw the smoke on the ground and stomped on it violently, extinguishing its flame. Well, it was lovely meeting you two. I gotta go. Turkey couldn't help but hang on the last sentence. Why did Jane say meeting you two? Never met her before in my life. Wait, so how did you know her friend needed help? Tom looked at Telki in what she assumed was confusion. Or maybe irritation. Look at the kid. He's sweating bullets. But how did you know he needed her? I don't know. I just did. Suddenly it all made sense. He was were telepaths after all. You read his mind, didn't you? It's true then. Humans are telepaths. No, humans aren't telepaths. Then explain how you did that. Turkey was sure she had figured it out. There was no way of knowing what another was feeling without them telling you directly. I don't know, kid. I just knew, okay? I didn't read his damn mind. Wait, so you want telepaths? No, I can just read him. He looks overwhelmed and kept looking over here. I assumed it was for her. There, happy? She could now tell he was irritated. She looked over at the other humans. Could they all read each other? Or were they actually telepaths and just lying? Turkey wasn't sure she'd ever find out but maybe she could coax a different answer to a separate question. So, is it true you destroyed three other planets before landing on Earth? 